Hi, my name is Umi Dariani. Welcome to this installment of The Roundtable. Today I have with me Emily Taylor, who's one of the producers of EverQuest Next, and Linda Carlson, whose title is the Director of Global Community Relations. It's a long right? one, yes. It's an awesome one. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're talking about female dwarves and whether or not they should have beards. Yes. And this was a surprisingly contentious issue. Uh, I think we had a lot, you know, we had a lot of people talking about it. Yeah, I, I mean, seriously though, I mean, obviously female dwarves have to have beards. It, it, it shouldn't even have been up for discussion, right? Because, you know, you it, it would be like having elfings without huge pointy ears, right? No, it, it was, it was a less serious question that we wanted to start off the round table and get people used to the idea about discussing these, but it garnered 30 pages of responses and 10,000 views. So people clearly, clearly care about whether dwarf, female dwarves should have beards. So the question is, is there historical or literary context for this discussion? Well, it is an interesting question and it's not entirely uh, without some history. Um, we know that Tolkien um, mentions in one of his lore background books that uh, female dwarves do have beards and a more recent author, Terry Pratchett, also describes female dwarves as having beards and some editions of tabletop role-playing games as well allow dwarves to have beards. And EverQuest as well, right? EverQuest and EverQuest 2, the female dwarves have beards as an option when you're creating them. So it seems like a lot of people thought that beards should be optional for dwarves. Is that the direction that we're headed? That's definitely where most of the answers fell overall. There were a few on either side, but the, the vast majority wanted optional. But make sure you, you relate now. How many people voted for optional? All the ones who are not currently banned voted for optional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rest of them will reconsider their application to play the games at a future date. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately on this roundtable question, it was a trap and some of you are not getting beta keys. <laughs> we are, of course, joking. But it does yeah. tie in very well into the general, um, the general attitude of EverQuest Next that we want to encourage. It's all about making choices. It's all about building you the way you want to be. So um, in that context, it's not such a lighthearted question. It's just uh, one aspect of that, and we hope to apply that general philosophy to many things. Indeed. So and I mean, there, there certainly were some strong opinions on that as well. You, I think you saved some player comments on the negative side, the you shall not have beard side. I, I did. There were a couple. Um, I'll read a, a few. Uh, Kantosh Khan said, uh, no beards. Some things just weren't meant to be on anything other than he-men and animals. And uh, Malice said, I believe female dwarves should not have facial hair so as to appeal to the female players. Hmm. 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 Very well, interesting. Since we have female players here, how do you guys feel about that? I'm all for options myself, you know, vive la différence, but yeah, I have always played a female dwarf with a beard. In games that do not offer a beard option, I play a male dwarf and role play as female. I don't generally play dwarves, but I do like to play less traditionally pretty races. I have an ogre, for example, which I love, ah. and if I did play a dwarf, I think I'd want a beard. I haven't spent a ton of time considering whether I would want a female dwarf, my female dwarf, to have a beard. I'm starting to think the answer is yes. Now, on the, on the positive, the pro-beard side, we had comments like this one from Morbs. I will be playing a male dwarf, and I prefer my women with the beard. Giggity. <laughs> and Theater Elf also added, a, a poster asked, who would want to play a female dwarf? Me. My first ever character in an MMO, EQ specifically, was a female dwarf pally with a beard and a mustache. I like the creative beards that EQ2 designed for their female dwarfs, and look forward to those in EQ next. Excellent. My favorite personal one was uh, from a poster named Quaid, great name by the way, uh, and he put it into a very different perspective. He's like, hey guys, how about a really new direction for this? Make beards a playable race and have optional cosmetic dwarves that could be attached. Fascinating idea. That I like it. Is messed up. It's brilliant. <laughs> well, so I think we should probably take advantage of the fact that we have one of the producers of EverQuest next year to <laughs> ask a question. Yes. <laughs> how, how would this work? What kind of abilities could the oh. beard class have? I mean, geez. We'll, we'll have to do a little uh, brainstorming session, but I can think immediately uh, maybe whiplash, maybe um, an increased um, food retention oh, option. Indeed. Yeah. Crowd control by yeah. smothering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, majesty. <laughs> so I think that's going to do it for us here on the roundtable. Thanks so much to Emily and Linda. We really appreciate all of your comments, and we look forward to seeing you next week.
Sony.